The European transfer window is now closed, so it looks like we're stuck with Linton for better or for worse. I want you to make sure that he knows his career depends on working well with you and Fletch. Yes, well, Fletch's attitude towards him doesn't exactly make my job any easier. I don't want to hear about petty squabbles on or off the pitch. I expect the two of them to work together in a striking partnership, starting with the next FA Cup match. Now, I'm thinking about moving Linton into the Barons, just so you can keep your eye on him. Whatever you say. But getting those two to work together would not be easy. Mm. Yeah, I'm sorry, Monday. That's your job. Claudia? Do you know if Dawn's left the Barons yet? I'm um, not sure. Well, we need the house as soon as possible for Linton and Alexander. Oh, um, that might be a little tricky. I take it she's still there, then? Yes. To be honest, I'm not sure she even knows she's supposed to have left by now. Mm, that's a bit embarrassing. I hate having to do things like this. Okay. You type something up for me to sign. Um, something like, in accordance with David's contract, you were required to vacate the premises a week ago, blah, blah, blah. And then go over and personally deliver it. Are you sure that's such a good idea? I mean, I'm not sure I'm the best person to do that. Oh, on the contrary, I think you're the perfect person to do that. Besides, it might make you think twice next time you feel like messing around with the club's manager. How did your little errand go? Oh, great. Thanks for that. My pleasure. So, who are the flowers from? Doesn't say. Secret admirer, eh? Well, if it is a secret admirer, it's yours. These are for you. Really? Ready for today's match? As I'll ever be. You looking forward to it? I have got a good feeling about today. Did you see who delivered this? No, I've only just got here. Why? It just doesn't have a stamp on it. I think someone has a crush on me. Someone here at the club. Oh. <laughs> Not quite what I would have chosen for you, but uh, I suppose they're quite nice. Any idea who they might be from? Unfortunately, I do. Well, try and let them down gently. I don't want this club turning into Heartbreak United. Just a second. You haven't seen Jamie, have you? No. He's not on the team sheet either. What? Well, I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Tash? Hello, Linda. What are you doing here? Oh, gracious as ever, I see. What do you want? I came to thank you for evicting me from my home, especially for sending Claudia to give me the good news personally. Nice touch. Look, I haven't got the time or the patience for this conversation, Dawn. I'm sorry. And I think the club would be more than generous with the amount of time they'd let you spend at the Barons. Now, if you'll excuse me. You are right, morning sickness? I don't know why they call it that when you feel like you want to throw up 24 hours a day. <laughs> Must have been a male doctor that thought that one up. Yeah, you're telling me. Feeling any better? A little. Why don't you come out and watch a match with me? Take your mind off things. Oh, I've got to find Jamie. What you need to do is sit down and take it easy, not run around the whole of Harchester. Come on, just get my coat. Tash, you all right? Go. Come on, let's get you out of here. There you go. This is horrible. I don't think I can take much more of it. Sickness will go soon, it'll be okay. I was talking about Jamie. I have lied to him again and again. I keep messing everything up. And this time I think I've lost him for good. Maybe I should just get rid of it. Save all the hassle. Do you know what you're saying? Nothing is that bad that you should even be thinking about an abortion. And I can't believe Jamie would want that. Even if the baby's not his. One day. Listen, Tash, whoever the father is, this is your baby. It's part of you. And the most important thing, above everything else, is that you take care of it. That means taking care of yourself. The amount of stress you've been putting yourself under, who knows what could happen? You don't want to go through a miscarriage, Tash. You really don't want to go through it. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. I just 
don't want the same thing to happen to you, that's all. Thanks, Linda. Seems like we've been here for ages. Sorry you've missed most of the game. It's okay. I'm glad I could help. I've still got most of the second half anyway. It's Middlesbrough in possession. Bogle chasing hard here. Robbie Mustard. And they're calling for a stretcher. This is a real worry for Harchester United. Oh, Come on. Carl, are you OK? No. How bad is it, Lee? It doesn't look good. I think it's a fracture. It's going to need an x-ray. What about Look, you have your chat later, all right? Lee, get us from the start. Right. Now, please. Come on, Carl. Hey, in there. What's happened? It's Fletcher. I think he's broken his arm. Oh, that's bad luck. Jamie, Tasha's looking for you. I think she's worried. Why don't you just mind your own business? Just think about what you're doing, Jane, will you? Well done, lad. Two, Linton. <laughs> well done, Monday. Well, I'm glad we won, but things only took it for Fletcher. No, I know. He's on his way to hospital now. I'm going to wrap up here, then head off. Monday. Sort things out with Jamie, yeah? Whatever it takes. Just put your personal feelings aside. I don't want to play another game without him. Did you find him? Yep, he's downstairs. Oh, thank God. I've told Monday to sort it out with him. What? What do you mean? They can't. If Tash, leave him. Listen, Monday and Jamie need to talk. I'll be all right. Hello? Not really. Do you want me to come over? Could you? Yeah, of course I can. I'll be right there. He knows. I'm sure he knows. I think you don't know who the father is. He said he believes me, but I don't know. Something must have happened. I can just tell. You can't carry on like this for the next six months. It'll drive you crazy. I know. Have you tried speaking to him? I can't. Tash, you're going to have to face up to this sooner or later. Wouldn't it be better now than when the baby's born? But I looked him in the eye and told him that I was already pregnant when I slept with Monday. How can I admit that I was lying? He'd leave me. I can't talk to him. Well, I could. No, you can't. Look, if he finds out... He wouldn't even have to know I'd spoken to you. I have got a vested interest in this, you know. I need my goalkeeper in the team. Listen, if he came up to you and asked you to do the test, you could say yes and look like you're doing him a favour. Wouldn't that be better? <laughs> I heard you miss training. Well, this is a bit where you're meant to give me an explanation. I can't train with Monday. I've tried, but the very sight of him makes me feel sick. He's your manager. He slept with my wife. All right, Jamie, Monday made a mistake. A terrible one, yeah. But for the sake of your career, if nothing else, you've got to move on. If only I could. So what? You're just gonna beat yourself up over this for the rest of your life? It's not that simple. Why not? Tash is pregnant. Yeah, I know, but... It is your baby, isn't it? Tash claims that it's mine. Mom Day said that she told him that she wasn't sure, so I haven't got a clue. Tash wouldn't lie to you about something like that, I'm sure. Well, I'm glad someone is. Have you talked to her about it? I can't ask her. What am I supposed to say? By the way, Tash, you know when you promised me that I was the father of the child you're carrying? Well, I don't believe you. Come on. Well, what do you want? I want to know who the father is for good. Well, surely there's ways of finding out if you're that bothered. Yeah, paternity test. Well, why don't you ask her to take one? For both your sakes. You know Tash loves you. Yeah. And do you think she'd rather you feel like this or put your mind at rest? Come on, Jamie, talk to your wife. She'll understand. I've 
just heard. How is he? They won't know for sure until he regains consciousness. What? It seems he's been taking some drugs. Pegsy! Are they sure? Yeah. I don't believe it. Where did this happen? Danny and him hooked up last night with some girls. Things obviously got a bit out of hand. Obviously. I better get to work and sort this out. Not a word of this outside the club, OK? Nikki. The club will give Gary every support. He's in the best place for now to win know what's wrong. I'll get in touch with the club's doctor. As for you, you just take it easy and take all the time you need. We'll cope, all right? Aren't you meant to be in training? Yeah. Claudia, look after Nicky for me, yeah? Here you go. Take my car. You can give me a lift back to Moulin, can't you? Yeah, of course. Nicky, I'm so sorry. But it'll all be OK. I promise. Come on. The press department are working up a release on Pegsy. We're going to try and keep it as low-key as possible. But as soon as uh, it's finished, I'd like you to see it. Is Fletch joining us? Fletch? Well, he is Pegsy's agent. You have spoken to him about this, haven't you? Ah, uh, no. I haven't. Well, what about Danny? He was with Pegsy last night. I haven't seen him. What do you mean you haven't seen him Monday? Huh? Wasn't he at training? He left early. To go where? I don't know. Monday. Two of your players have been involved with some kind of girl band, ending up with one of them in hospital. Now, all it takes is for one of these girls to go to the press before we do, and we could end up with a very serious situation. I need to know you're in control. Ooh. I'm going to call it a day, so uh, will you let security know when you leave, because you're the last one here. Hey. You know what? I will finish this tomorrow. You OK? Yeah, fine. Actually, no. I don't want to go back to the house. Nikki's still at the hospital and I don't want to be on my own. Well, why don't we go for a quick drink? Only it'll have to be quick. I've got a stack of work to do tonight. But I can spare you half an hour. Maybe Nikki will be back by then. Thanks, Linda. Don't thank me. You're buying, lady. <laughs> hey, I've been trying to get hold of you all afternoon. Is your mobile off? So you have? Four missed calls. My name family. I need to talk to you about Pegsy. What's that got to do with me? Well, you're his agent. I want to know what you propose I to do. I don't know what to do, all right? I didn't make him take drugs. Him and Ross Vaughan decided that all by themselves. I just want to know... Why what don't you mind your own business? This is my business. And you have a responsibility to that boy whether you like it or not. Oi, any chance of a drink? Morning. Oh, sorry. You OK? Yeah, fine. Really, I'm fine. I did what every sensible person does when they think they're being stalked. After you left last night, I got plastered. <laughs> Good for you. As my dad is so fond of telling me, I'm an Irving. And it's going to take a bit more than a couple of colour photos to scare me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear it. Listen, I've got this board meeting later, so I'm going to need the ticket projections for the next six games and the restaurant figures for last month. Oh, and are you OK to do the infantry for the Spears house? Yeah, sure. Great. Ask Sandra to get some coffee when she comes in, would you? Coffee is going to be a long day. <laughs> we'll get the club doctor to have a look at him. He should be able to put us in touch with a specialist physio as well. It might not be as long as you think, Nicky. He's young and fit, and that can only help. But two years, what will he do? Well, the insurance will cover any costs. What will we do about that? You have to look at the details of his policy. He doesn't have one. Doesn't the club have him insured? He doesn't have any personal insurance whatsoever. This is my brother we're talking about. Right. Um... Nicky, the club has every player comprehensively insured. But the policies are for the club, not for the players. Every player has his own personal insurance. Or they should have. It's, um... Usually down to their agents to sort it out. Fledge, wait! <laughs> Let me save you the bother. Yes, I was using him to get at you. And I shouldn't have. And because of me, he hasn't got a career. Are you happy? Don't, I... I suppose you've heard that he hasn't got any insurance. Another own goal for Carl Fisher. 
That's a double whammy for you, isn't it? Eh? You get to beat me, and it doesn't cost you a penny. Hang on a minute. This has got nothing to do with what happened between you and me. I did what I had to do. So did you. But you're right. The club isn't obliged to give Pegsy anything. Only I don't own the club anymore, Fletch. I just work for it. Which is why I'm bringing the matter up in the board meeting today. To see if they can give Pegsy a percentage of the insurance money. I just thought you might like to know that. Linda! Thanks. Hey, Gary. I've arranged with your doctor here for the club's doctor to come and see you. He's going to bring with him a sports physiotherapist so he can start to work on a regime. What's the point? I can't play football anymore. Well, maybe not for a while, but look, you never know. Please. Don't try and be nice to me. I can't take anyone being nice. You're going to have to forgive yourself at some point, Gary. Otherwise, you're never going to get past this. I can't play football anymore. I haven't got any money to live on. How do I get past that? I will do everything in my power to help you. I promise. But the club won't. It's all right. It's not your fault. Nikki told me. I took the drugs. No one else. And it was me that didn't sort out any insurance. I just didn't think I'd need it. Um, we'll talk soon, OK? I'll come back. Chief? Hey, Pegsy. I understand the club's position on taking drugs, and I wholeheartedly agree with it. But we're talking about a boy here, of 18, who for the sake of one moment of stupidity has been left with nothing, quite literally nothing. Now, I'm not suggesting we give him all the insurance money, just a percentage. I just think we have a responsibility to our players, especially players who we've nurtured since they came to us as school children. They couldn't set a precedent, Nikki, because of Gary being injured through taking illegal substances. Their hands are tied. I'm sorry, Nikki, I tried. They couldn't even see their way to give him a few thousand quid. I don't believe it. It's not the board's money. No, but it's the rest of Gary's life. Well, I don't want to work here for people who... <sighs> I can't even resign. I'm going to need all the money I can get to look after him. Come on, you're just upset. You don't have to do this all by yourself. But I don't see anyone else offering any help. I'm sorry, Mrs. Block, I know you tried your best. I'm sorry. Look, Nick, I am... Fletch. Yeah? Do you want me to come into my office? They said no, didn't they? I'm afraid so. There's nothing more to be said, is there? Fletch, um, listen, I know I can't help with Pegsy, but I think it's about time we settle some debts. The compensation claim you made after the trial. I can't afford a million, but I think this is fair. Actually, hang on. Can you make that out to the club? The club, what for? Well, there's nothing stopping me from matching that. And if I was to write my cheque out to the club, and then we were to get a club cheque together. Well, it's not normal practice, but I don't see why not. Zoe, can you bring the company chequebook from the safe, please? Thanks. Has Claudia come back from the Barons yet? No, I haven't seen her. She's been gone ages. Hi. I'm just dropping off the keys to the house. It's all yours. All right. You've got to give them to Claudia. Claudia? 
But don't tell me you had the bad taste to send my husband's mistress round to evict me. Um, I sent her round to do an inventory, Dawn, I didn't think. You haven't seen her, though? No. Right. Listen, I am sorry things didn't work out for you in Harchester. We'll miss you. Bye, Linda. Still no sign of Claudia? No. <sighs> Hello, this is Claudia. Voicemail. I can't get to the phone right now, so please leave a message. Yeah, hi Claudia, it's Linda. Um, listen, where the hell are you? You were meant to be back ages ago. Could you give us a call when you get this message, please? Thank you.